Hello, and welcome to Code in 5 Minutes with Zim. I'm Dr. Abstract, and in this Code in 5 Minutes, we're going to see a bunch of ants walking along a path. <laughs> Won't that be fun? Let's go to the Zim site now at zimjs.com. We'll press on Code here, and we'll copy our template. Drop this down, 11, move it aside. And let us uh, paste this into Adam under ants. We'll call this one up top here. We'll call it ants on path. Woohoo! So we have a little ant uh, here. This is an ant sprite with four frames. And there it is inside of an assets folder. And here's our ants.html down here. So we're going to bring that in as a sprite. And we're here in our Zim01 template uh, and where we call ready, the ready function. There. It's a little bit different than our previous templates, but we've simplified our template to make some ants on path here. Uh, why don't we start the timer? Oh boy, can we do it in five minutes? So what we'll be doing is making an ant sprite. We're going to be making a path that is a squiggle. And then we're going to combine those in what's called a Zim bead so that we can animate a bunch of uh, a bunch of those or put a bunch of those ants on the squiggle and then animate them. If we're animating a sprite and we're animating along a path with Orient, then we should put that sprite in a container so that uh, they don't conflict. Okay, so uh, that's the plan. We're going to do all that in five minutes. So here we go. Let's start the timer. Do we see the timer? Yeah, there she be. Okay, so let's bring in our assets first, and that is called ant.png, and it's in path assets slash. And here we're going to make a new sprite. We'll eventually add this to a container, but the new sprite it holds a new, or is made from, a new pick of that ant.png. And there's four columns and one row. We can dot center that. And for now, we'll animate it just to see what happens there. So that's with a run. Uh, the time can be something like 0.5 seconds and the uh, loop will be true, loop colon true. So let's have a look at that ant. So hopefully we see that browser plus. There's a little ant. It's going a little slow. Let's make it 0.4. And what else are we gonna do then with this? We will make a path. So this is const path is equal to a new squiggle. And we can set the color of that to green dot. We'll darken it a little bit for our grass. Darken 0.3. We'll center that too, but we won't need to do that if we are adding it to the uh, to the beads. But there it is. We can make it um, a little bit longer too, and make that grass go right across the screen. Or you can make your own custom squiggles. But we're going to say tran transform points. We don't want to just scale it. Um, transform points in the scale x uh, four times or so. If we just scaled it, things uh, the, these handles would get... Well, we don't even want to see the handles. But anyway, we're transforming it. That stretches it out there like that rather than stretching um, stuff that actually rejigs the points there. So we've got a path, great. And now we're going to say const ants. So these are the beads equals the new beads. And we will pass it the path and we'll pass it the ant. And then we will say um, 10 of them. Please give us 10, a start angle, a start percentage. We'll start at zero along the path, but we'll end at a 50% along the path. And we'll dot center these beads along uh, the path or the ants along the path. That didn't quite work, so I have a look. Uh, sprite ants equals new beads. Any error? We do uh, ant is not defined. Oh, okay. And we have const ant is equal to, there we go. And uh, now we go, okay, that looks all right, but they're not on the path. So what we need to do is dot reg change the registration point to the center 
and the bottom, and that's the important one, the bottom there. And that will bring these ants up to the top. Let's scale that to half as, half as big, 2.5. So we're going to make the, um, the ants a little bit smaller along that path. That looks good. And if we're orienting, then we want this to be in a new container, like so. And we will um, just add to the container, which is called ant. Scale it. Uh, we don't need to run it now, but we'll run that later. And here is where we're going to animate. So we say ants, ants dot anim. Oh, the beads. So we're animating the beads. Animate. The beads are each individual thing. And what we can do is we can give it a time, a longer time, like 15 seconds or so. Uh, what are we going to animate? The props are we're going to animate along the path. So each of these things we're going to animate along the path. We'll set orient to true as well. Um, and we will loop colon true. Great. And we'll set the ease to linear. Linear. Lin. Lime. Lin er. There, we've done it. Okay, let's see how that's going. The only thing that's not happening is we're not actually only the first one is running because we got that run there. So what we want to do is move the run down onto the ants. So we go ants dot beads. Each of these beads is an individual one now. We're going to loop through all of these. Each time we're going to get an ant and we're going to tell that ant to tell its uh, get child at zero. So the first element in there at zero and we're going to tell that one to run. So we pull the run from here and we stop the timer. Bing! Pause the timer. Wow! Did we stop right on? <laughs> well, okay, I couldn't find the pause button quickly enough. That's not fair. And we refresh here. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Dum, dum, dum. Oh, aren't they cute? It's a bunch of little ants. Oh, and there they are looping. Nice. So each ant was a bead. And when we made the beads, we didn't actually animate each of those beads. We had only animated the first one up, up above. So it clones those. And the clones, when you clone something, it doesn't anim the, an the, the clones don't animate. So you have to animate each one individually. Which is why we went um, here to get each ant. So we looped through the beads, got each ant. But remember, the ant is a container, and we want to animate the sprite inside there. So a little bit awkward, I suppose, but that's how you can get the first thing that we put in there, the only thing that we put in there. And then we told that to run at this amount of time. If you wanted to, you could do something like uh, make them run it slightly differently so that they don't all look exactly the same. You could do something like... Um, uh, min time of 0.3 and comma a max time of 0.5 or something like that. And then what you've got is each one is being animated. You can't really quite tell, but animating at slightly different speeds, which makes their little their little tops uh, <laughs> or their little what are those things antennas uh, move at different times. All right, you got that. Isn't that cool? So this has been a code in uh, not a yeah a code in five minutes with Zim, and I am Doctor Abstract. I hope you enjoyed seeing those ants to uh, <laughs> do, do their thing. Isn't that neat? Okay, have a great day or night. Come and join us at zimjs.com/discord, zimjs.com/slack. We'd love to see you. Cheers. <laughs>